So, all is right with the world. Look at me. I'm at the desk, or a desk of the ADOS. Got my trusted cameraman here. I said, slowly from Dimbaza, here in Eastern Cape of Southern Africa. My wife's in the cook kitchen cooking something, making a whole lot. Of what you cooking in there, baby? I'm preparing my samosas, baby. Oh, she's, pre she's preparing her samosas because she's oh. she makes these great samosas. And don't, don't worry about that. Her side hustle. She's really a designer. Plus, she also is a designer. Also, a lot of things. And I told people before, we uh, and there was this movie that we watched together. Because, you know, I watched them. Okay. I can't admit it. I do, I do do the date movies and that stuff kind of thing. But this, this little movie here, regular old Hollywood kind of thing. You know, you have to have the white guy who can't sing, you have the black girl who can't sing, got Dolly Parton, got Queen Latifah, you know what I mean? Well, this is Kiki Palmer. You, you know Kiki Palmer. Anyway, who, 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 who twerks for Conan. Well, you know what happens. The celebrity world is totally different. You, you, you know what it's like? It's not, you know, you know, like you have the street world, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the, you have the, you have the, uh, uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, you all call it the, um, with the pole culture, what's, what's that? The, the strip clubs, you know what I mean? But you, you don't really have strip, well, you do have strip clubs here in, in South Africa, that's a quality, but black people don't go to them. We just go to Sabrines. That's why I take fun. Different worlds, different, different realities. And the funny thing is when one reality tries to comment on another reality, sometimes it doesn't really go through very, very well, right? People who think they know because it's always, always around. Now, one of the things about this movie, there's this one tiny, tiny, uh, I can nitpick all day, that Queen Latifah is talking to the, there was this competition, this man, it's a gospel competition, and then she says something, and then she says something, and, and, and she says like, something like, like and, and boys and girls, you no, know, she said, and, 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 and boys, blah, 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 blah. Now, she, if, if she was doing the feminist thing, if she was thinking, the feminist could jump on her and say, no, you should have said girls and boys. You know, you used to put that, slip that woman thing in there. You, you know, like Alexander Ocasio-Cortez slipped Puerto Rican and, and, and immigrants in all the time. And other people slip in, you know, Kamala Harris slips immigrants in all the time, whatever we're doing, that, that kind of thing. Well, the reason why I put that up, because then you say, well, Queen, Queen Latifah, you know, aren't you supposed to mention women all the time? Aren't you some sort of, you know, champion for women, blah, 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 blah? And you can criticize them on that. Well, as you all may or may not know, this is what I love. I, I there's several people that I, uh, I, on the internet, I don't listen to, I don't have TV, but the internet I listen to, like Max Kaiser, Max Kaiser. That's my, you know, I listen to him all the time. Professor Black Truth, love him. You know, the, the, the Fury TV. I love the Fury TV. Oh my God, it is so funny. He is so great. Okay. Um, uh, just for people that have come. In fact, you can't talk about Phil. Let me see. I still have it here. Now, remember, remember when, when, um, when, uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, 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 um, when ADOS, you know, the Vietnam went off on, on Black Panther talking about blah, 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 da, 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 da. And they think they, I'm not sure if they went off on, uh, anyway, they went off on them, you know. But, you know, through this Black Panther phenomenon, I met a lot of people, you know, like Double Toasted, love those guys, funny, you know, E-Man movie reviews, you know, uh, my man Red Red Spirit Mask, you know, me, uh, 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 the white guy that does, uh, does uh, um, African art, he's always uh, love that guy too. Certain people I, I met through, through this movement, I call it a movement, this kind of movement. Well, through the ADOS movement, then I met a whole lot of other people. You know, met, when I said met, I may follow a whole lot of other people. And remember, I'm not on the radar, so I so like, you know what I mean? I always know about Tariq, but you know, Tariq is Tariq, is Tariq and he's coming from a whole other thing, which is very entertaining too, you know? Um, um, okay. Uh, oh, plus, plus, of course, I, I do Neely Fuller every week because that's Neely Fuller. Fuller Jr. You know what I'm talking about? He's, he's my he's, he's like my he's like my preacher, my, my every week preacher. Oh, this is an old picture. Oh, this is a picture of me and my wife with one of those vintage pictures. pictures of my um, you know the book I'm talking about. I bring it up all the time. Don't make like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. The United Independent Compensatory Concept. You know. A mm -hmm. code system concept, right there. I call it the code, Neely Fuller Jr., right? You know this book? A okay. code book. I got it down, you know. Actually, my scholar and the, the young people, they, they, they look at this too. They, they've been learning a lot, lot of stuff from here. I think, have you all? Yeah. He said yes. Okay. 
but this past week on event, there's other people I listen to too, but this past week on event, I was doing this whole movie review of us, and I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really talk, and I really didn't pay attention because it was a spoiler or whatever, but I, I always try to look into her, uh, especially with the, um, the uh, when she opens the phones, right? So, um, so I, I, turned, I, did, I didn't pay attention because I wasn't going to listen to the movie review part. Then I checked in later, find out that, hey, something happened. And the, the phones or her setup wasn't going right, so she couldn't get the phones coming in for her second part of her program, right? Now, here's the way I look at these things. Look, I'm, it doesn't matter what the vet says is right or wrong or whatever it is. That's not what I'm talking about. When stuff like that happens, I look at it and I say, hey, I'm not going to say divine intervention, but basically, it's a message. Look, one thing I learned about traveling, you is you know how to have the burning bush as you go. On. Everybody reads the burning bush differently. Well, when you travel, you better read that burning bush right, else you go down the wrong road. I'm telling you. you know what I mean, so I'm attuned not only to to f physical realities or whatever. I'm also attuned into spiritual realities. I mean, I'm, I, I, I exist on a spiritual plane. A lot, I'm, the reason why I'm here has nothing to do with money, ain't it? And the reason why I'm here in South Africa right now doing what I do is because. Basically, the Great Spirit put me here. I'm, it's the only way I can explain it. I can't explain it. The reason why I travel so much, put out any money, is because the Great Spirit. That's what I needed to do, right? Okay. So if something like that happened to me, and my phone was going down, I would say, hmm, maybe I should just leave. Maybe I should leave Jordan Peele and the Hollywood people alone for a second. You can. I know you want to talk about because everybody's talking about everybody's conscience. I understand all that stuff. But however, you know what I mean. The big part. Is that if you get a sign like that, it means look, you got you got, you got other things to do. You can make your little points like that. Let you let let you let other people make those points because you're you're you are not a Hollywood person. And as, as much as Antonio Moore would like to say he's a Hollywood person, right? Because he made a, a documentary film. He's not still not in that world, okay? So you don't know what's happening in that world. I mean, when I was at Negro Ensemble, it was kind of interesting because at the time. You know, you had, you had new, new the, you had the New Lafayette Theater up, up, uptown, you know, in Harlem. Uh, also, you had, um, uh, uh, um, I don't think really, yeah, I guess, yeah, that's right. Um, Marbury Hentier just started Black National Black Theater up there. You had, uh, you had uh, um, I don't think what's name came, I don't think Woody King Jr. came in yet, whatever. But, but uh, because it was Negro on Summer, it was the Negro on Summer, we got a lot of flack. I'm saying we, but they got a lot of flack. We said, oh, you're not black, blah, 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 blah. But what was, and, well, Anyway, that, that's what that's what they said. But what they didn't know, all the students, we would go see if, if many gentry was having a program here, or, or or somebody else was doing something there. We would go and see their play. We would support everybody. Doesn't matter, you know. At Bowling something, we were up in National, uh, rather at, at uh, New Lafayette uh, uh, Theater, we'd be right there. You know, we that's what because that's our world. We have to know everything about our world. You know, mm. and there's and there's a situation. Uh, the situation is, if you don't know about that world, if you're not intimate in that world, you don't understand that little intricacies, whatever it is, then maybe you should just back off a little bit, just just chill for a second, and let everybody in that world. So, so that whole thing happened with Monique and whatever happened. I understand what they did, I understand. But I was more listening to to Corey Holcomb, you know, 5150, because he was saying, because that's his world, you know, man. So his perspective, his perspective is going to be to me more accurate than other perspectives. Now what he said that I got out from everything, no matter what Monique was right, wrong, whatever. But he says you don't put other people's financial business out like like she did. That's what that's what she messed up in that world, okay? And in, in the greater world of uh, ADOS, maybe she was, you know, that's a champion to get under something like that. That's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go on about this. I just want to let that out there. Is that a lot of things are happening, but you got to be able to read this thing correctly. And remember, when you read this correctly, it's not just about the data. It's not just about history. It's not just about the, the money you can raise or whatever happened. There is, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a living proof, there is a, there is a spiritual element. And I want to speak about it, man, man, be, pan, be, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about the great, the great spirit is leading you. Follow feel what the great spirit is is taking you and go that route right go with the vibe go with the vibe that's it for me T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet let me know what I only suspect from ADS of the ADOS right here Southern Africa thanks Ms. Gully yeah, thanks